Today we are going to discuss an important topic that has the potential to revolutionize the way we earn money. That is by selling AI generated art into various stock image websites like Adobe Stock and many more. You can sell images like this, this and this and make money every time someone buys your art. You can make a lot of money. All you need to do is type a prompt and AI will do the work for you. And the best part is you don't need to invest a single penny. Just follow me while I guide you how to start a booming online AI art business for free. So are you ready guys? By the way, if you are new here, welcome to my channel AI Dynamics where we explore the amazing world of artificial intelligence and its latest trend and innovation. I am your host Avinay Jaiswal. Let's get started. First, you need to set up your account in a few domains. Midjourney, which is a powerful AI art generator, Discord, where your art will be created, and Adobe Stock, where you will be selling your art. You can use other AI image generators like Stable Diffusion, DALI 2 by OpenAI. It is the same company which has developed ChatGPT. But currently, Midjourney produces the best results, so we will focus on Midjourney. If you want to play a bigger game, you will need an image editing software like Adobe Photoshop or hire someone with expertise in it. With Photoshop, you can tailor the image for maximum sellability, getting you ahead in the game. However, this is completely optional. Go to Midjourney website at www.midjourney.com and click on join the beta. You will be redirected to Discord. Enter your username, click continue. Fill in the captcha. Now you will be asked some details like date of birth, etc. Finally, you need to enter your mail and password. Fill this up and you will get a verification link into your registered email ID. Once your registration is complete, you will be able to log in into Discord server of Midjourney. Now, for the first time user, Discord is where you can interact with the Midjourney bot to create AI designs. You do this by entering a command here. Basically, this is the language the algorithm understands. It is known as prompts. Don't panic. If you don't know how to write one, I assure you it's very easy. And the best part is that it only takes a couple of seconds to generate an awesome high quality image. Let's start by typing our prompt. Suppose we want to generate an image of a bunny slash imagine bunny. Any prompt which tells the mid journey algorithm to generate an image starts with imagine. After imagine, all you need to do is type what you want to generate. Let's add some character to our bunny. Imagine an evil bunny. Wearing cool shades. Press enter. And just like that, your imagination just come to life. Now you will need to decide your genre. Choosing your theme is very crucial step. Think of it as the essence of your online shop. Nature, patterns, technology, people and science are just a few examples of the variety of categories you can explore. After careful consideration, I decided to focus on technology related to artificial intelligence. By keeping all the images under one hood, I can effectively manage my online shop. Also, the clients will have an easy time finding me and browsing through my shop. Keep this in mind as you embark on your own journey. So, we are here in Discord. Let's start generating images. This can be futuristic robot, cyberpunk, space tech, etc. But all related to artificial intelligence. A cyborg robot comma artificial intelligence award winning cyberpunk art by Karl Balmer future tech digital poster AR 16-9 commas are used to shorten the sentences and add different elements to our design Karl Balmer is an artist name which tells the bot to generate the design based on his style AR 16 to 9 ensures the image is generated in a 16 by 9 ratio, commonly used by stock image websites. You can be more creative and use your imagination to come up with better designs. If you want to know how to write great prompts, check out this video. I will also link it in description. And our image is ready. What an amazing piece. Now we will enhance the image in Photoshop. First, we will up the contrast a bit by adding a curve layer. The image still looks a little damp, so we will add more color by increasing the saturation in a hue saturation layer.
I think our image is ready to upload. We are going to upload our art on the stock image platform Adobe Stock. Adobe Stock is a hub of millions of royalty free stock images, photos, graphics, vectors, illustrations, videos and many more. Currently it boasts of around 34 million assets. It's a big number, right? Note that not all stock image website currently accept AI generated images such as Midjourney. Adobe Stock is an exception. Adobe Stock requires an image size of minimum 4 MB. Chances are there that your images are already upload ready. Still, if you want to upscale it, it will increase the chance of acceptance. There are two ways to do this. One, and this is a very easy way. Using an online image upscaler like Upscale Media. Go to upscale.media.com and upload the image. It will give you the option to download double or four times the size of initial image. However, I'll warn you here, many of the sites have a very shady policies. I recommend going through their terms and condition before using these sites. You can also use image editor like Photoshop. This is actually preferable and you have the full control over the generated images. What I mean in here is that some image upscaler website, you have the rights of the initial image, but they control the right of the upscale image. This means you are technically passing the rights of your AI generated image into the hands of the websites. So be aware of this. Simply visit the Adobe Stock website by going to stock.adobe.com. Here look for the cell link in the top navigation bar. Click on it and it will take you to the registration page. Log in with Google or Facebook if you prefer. If you want to manually enter your email id, click new user, create your account. It will ask for your personal info like name, DOB etc. Just keep on entering. Once you are done, you will receive a confirmation link into your registered email id. Click on it and your account will be successfully created. Click on upload button and it will open a page where you can upload your art. Now I will proceed by uploading my first asset. Here are a few guidelines you have to follow. The transparent PNGs do not include any background. It means the image which you are uploading must be transparent. It should be in PNG format only. The minimum image resolution should be 4 megapixels and the maximum should be 100 megapixels. The maximum file size should be 45 MB. If you are uploading an image which is in JPG format, it should have minimum resolution of 4 megapixel and maximum should be 100 megapixel and the maximum file size should be 45 MB and minimum file size should be 4 MB. Suppose if you are uploading vector, it should be have the following guidelines like minimum artboard resolution should be 4 megapixels, maximum artboard resolution should be 25 megapixels, AI, EPS and SVG format only. File size should be maximum of 45 MB. We'll need to keep these in mind while uploading your art as this will increase the chance of acceptance by Adobe Stock. Now I'll click on browse and upload my asset. After adding the asset, it will ask for some more information related to my art as you can see on the screen. Like file type, I'll select illustration. Category, I'll select technology. I'll check mark here as it is created using AI tools. It is now asking whether a recognizable people or property in the image, I'll select no. I'll now enter 5 keywords related to my art as it will help in browsing or it will help my image to find better than the other images. Now I'll click on submit. After you have submitted the art, you will get a notification from Adobe that it is reviewing your art. It takes generally 7 days to either get your image approved or rejected. Here are few of my arts that got approved. So you will be getting 33% of the cost of the photos, vectors and illustration and 35% of the cost of the video as royalty fee into your account. The royalty rate is applied to the net price per license asset based on the US purchase price and including any discount. For example, if the plan cost 
around US dollar 29.99 per month for 10 monthly photos license. Then the royalty amount rounded up to the nearest cent would be around US dollar 0.99 per licensed photo. That is US dollar 29.99 divided by 10 photos into 33%. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe my channel for more contents like this. Also, if you want to know more about Mid Journey AI, I have explained in great detail in this video. Be sure to check it out. See you in the next video. Till then, bye bye.